Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new video. Feeling a little bit like Rapunzel today to be honest. Next to my tower of bricks, I have like the biggest unboxing on the way. I just owe you guys a lot of videos. I know I haven't posted in like a week and I am disgusted with myself. Like I actually so apologize. I feel like it's my duty to entertain you guys and I just haven't been doing that. So I really am sorry, but I am back. We're back to this uploading shit, I promise. Live cop tomorrow, live cop on Palace, and then we're gonna be doing a TikTok review on Saturday. Um, psych, thank God that's not happening. But um, let's just hop in this video because we have a drop list to talk about. And this is actually a pretty good week. I already know some of you are roasting this shit, like, oh, brick we both sleep. But cool, keep that energy. That's all I gotta say. Cause I'm telling you right now, this is actually a pretty fire week. I feel like the ending of this season is gonna be actually pretty good. Like we have T week coming up, and um the that's about it. So I don't know why I just said that. I'm lying to you. I don't know if you guys have seen this Vans leak, but oh my god, dude, these Vans are looking insane. So we actually have some really cool releases on the way, but let's talk about this stuff dropping tomorrow. Sorry if today I seem like extra cringy or dead inside. I'm kind of both. I'm like super rusty, I feel like, with videos, and I'm really tired because I've actually been hanging out with Lauren the last couple of days. She just moved to Seattle. I'm so excited. We're going to be doing way more content together, so um, let's get into talking about this week, starting it off with the Ziploc bag. Let's go, bro. I know y'all are just as excited as I am for some damn plastic bags that say supreme on them. Let's go. Sometimes I feel like my life's hit a new low point and then I drop like $30 on some Ziploc bag. Like I don't know why I'm gonna buy these but you know I am. Don't play with me. Um, so this is a box of 30. I'm guessing you'll be able to get multiple boxes. I've heard the cap is four so we're copping 12 at least. I wonder how fast these are gonna fly because the items that have had like huge quantities this season um, such as the ponchos or Oreos absolutely flew took off take off these large quantity accessories have been difficult to get this season so if you guys want to secure these you might even have to single cart a four pack and I think I might do the same I'm not positive yet but I just really don't want to risk it because man I'm saying like the Oreos flew ponchos well I feel like that was a glitchy ass week I took an LR right I think these are gonna do the same so if you want to be safe I would probably single cart these but let's go talk about the raffia tote first uh, now this Screams hype beast. This is the type of item from Supreme. I just despise like I honestly don't enjoy this at all Like I can get behind a lot of the cringy Supreme like accessory bullshit But like this man like stop it. This is not gonna look dope on body now the pink colorway kind of a vibe Like I think a girl could pull this one off and maybe the blacks kind of decent But at the end of the day I don't think I'm gonna see a single clean outfit with this tote because it just it is way too loud in my opinion Now is it gonna resell because we don't care about the personal we care about this resell um oh this one is definitely a gamble totes can resell like I know plenty of tote bags that have actually ended up having some resell and none of them had this much branding on them um, now I can't tell if like people are gonna absolutely adore these because they scream supreme or if people are gonna just be like what the fuck is this like hype I'm guessing this is probably gonna resell decently I will say it is a gamble of an item so don't be mad at me when you go cop in and like the 10 over retail I'm not even convinced I'm gonna buy one of these but I will say if you do end up getting one make sure you get free shipping that would definitely make it way more worth it it's $98 if you grab this with like a boonie hat or something that'd be free shipping on both maybe that's a good cart um, but I do think there's better items to go for personally I think I'm gonna pass on this tote this week but I don't know you might see me copping one I'd go red or black if I did buy it I'd probably avoid the pink let's go to the skeleton keychain now I was just talking to Jacob star on FaceTime about this and he was not really feeling this keychain for like the resale aspect I do think this will end up selling pretty decent now do keep in mind it's a keychain don't expect to be making like box logo money off this or nothing but um, this is actually a style of keychain supreme used to do like almost every season there's like a seahorse one there's a rose one they kind of had this clear casing and some supreme branding alongside some like I don't know weird figure um, this skeleton concept I love man now personally I think I might actually get the black colorway on this I feel like it's way more clean it just makes more sense with like the coffin idea I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna pass this up and this is a really good multi-cart item on a week where there's a lot of stuff to multi-cart like I really do like this week there's not one big hype item I guess the Ziploc bags um, but that means that us people that kind of know the more low-key resale can get to this bag I I'm talking about myself all right my checkout has been so disgusting lately I need this week please supreme gods just like 
just don't let me get card declined, man. So yes, I would get a keychain. I expect them to sell for around 40 to 50 bucks. Um, right away, they might even be going for like $60. I really do believe in this keychain. Let's go to the sunglasses. We're gonna do all the sunglasses together. Um, we got the Royce sunglasses. Shout out my furry boys in the Discord. We got these stretch sunglasses and then the Miller sunglasses. So now of these three, 100% my favorite is gonna be the Royce sunglasses. I think these are actually kind of nice, dude. I am never one to hype up Supreme sunglasses. Like, I honestly think Supreme sunglasses are usually so trash. If you've watched me for a while, you know I usually roast these, but you know what? I'm gonna let it slide. I actually think these are pretty nice. Now, retail is not looking too nice. Like, damn, bro. They stay taxing over at Supreme on these glasses, but Bro, these are pretty nice. They got the little Supreme gold, almost box logo, not quite, some different font um, on the outside. I think this is a really nice little clean touch. Nothing too crazy, and what I really enjoy about these is the model's not that bad. Like, I, I could get these and they end up looking so bad on body. I don't know if I'm gonna buy them or not. If y'all smash a like right now, if we got like 1K likes on this video, then maybe I'll go buy a pair of these for the boys. Just let you all laugh at me. I know these are gonna look stupid on me. I kind of feeling the zebra even though I would never ever wear it like why would I ever <sighs> dude why do I just buy the dumbest shit I don't know I think I might end up getting a pair of these just because I never buy supreme sunglasses it'd be content for you guys but we're gonna have to hit that like goal for that to happen so like smash a like you know I'm not really financially ready to drop 176 on some weird ass wonky sunglasses but I'll do it for them. Um, so yeah, I think the Royce sunglasses, if I were to resell any of these glasses or try to, cause I don't really know if these are gonna flip like that. Uh, I would go for the Royce in black, um, maybe the tortoise, but uh, the Miller sunglasses, I'm not, like it's almost cool. They definitely theme a lot of their sunglasses from like vintage designer. And I feel like these are some Cartier frames. So that's cool. I don't think I'm gonna buy them, especially with these being the most expensive of the bunch, um, but they are pretty hard. I'm actually pretty into the glasses they're doing this season, which I never say. Now the stretch sunglasses, we can all agree, are kind of trash, come on now. I won't lie though, this kind of like weird, I don't even know what color they call this, and the yellow's kind of a vibe, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Um, but next up, crossover beanie, bro. Now this, like this is what I'm talking about. This is a great, great, I, like if you walk away from this week without one of these beanies, you played yourself like I'm sorry I don't know why you did that because this is a fire beanie dude I actually love these I could actually see the black colorway going pretty quick black gray natural even the yellow one like pretty much every color for this is dope pink even I will never rock a pink beanie but I compliment someone that had this one on I love that LA Kings font I just I just really like this one man I wish they'd put it on a t-shirt I know they did a t-shirt like this back in the day um, let's move on though is boonie talk boys flags boonie um, yes, sir. I've actually been waiting on them to release this. Uh, I really believe in this one, man. I definitely think these are going to resell. Uh, black camo, definitely the two best colors. Maybe the khaki is like, honestly, you can't really go wrong. I think we can all agree red's the worst, but that camo, man, it's kind of like, I, I would not really rock this, but it's pretty hard. I did have a hoodie back in the day, a flags hoodie, very similar to this. I just really like this concept. $60 retail, shoo, like that is what I'm talking about. That's a good retail. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, 34 for this beanie. Uh, sign me up, please. Like, yes, sir. That is what I'm talking about. Um, so we talked about sunglasses. Dude, how would you call this a brick week? We even got like some 110 water shorts that are not bad. Like, I could actually see these doing pretty decent right here. 110, dude, they're like, I actually don't even know what to go for first because there's so much stuff I want to buy this week. I'm actually so rattled. I said I'd go for sunglasses. Like, I don't even know if I'll have time to go for the sunglasses, man. Um, these remind me a lot of the foam posits they did back in the day. And I think that could actually help them a lot because that's like a super popular um, print with Supreme now. We have not really seen supreme bring back that like design in a while so dude i really actually believe in the water shorts um i feel like like small xl i don't really know what size to tell you all to go for i might have to get a pair of these dude i really do think these might end up reselling pretty decent um the blue is not bad but the black man like just the fact that it looks so much like that foam posit design i think gives this a really good shot of reselling and i actually think it's a sleeper item i think they'll go pretty fast like all of a sudden everyone's gonna be like why did we not go for these water shorts um next up <laughs> reverse tear. uh shorts i'm sorry for that um no i don't go oh you know what 
I almost was ready to just roast these and move on, but these are not too bad. I'll give it to you, Supreme. Um, I don't know if it needed the extra Supreme here when it already says it like 10 times everywhere, but it's cool. You know what? These are not too bad. Um, they're made of tear. They're certainly better than the Terry joke I made introducing them, so um, I don't think they're bad. Like I don't know if they're going to resell, but really good personal item there. Um, Dazzle. Like I remember we talked about this before, and we said no. Mm. Sprayed plat. This is actually pretty hard, man. I would not expect myself to hype up a short sleeve top from Supreme, but you know what? I'd top that up like shit. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I, I actually really do like this, man. Um, shit, it really reminds me of like, I don't know, kind of like vintage fade. It reminds me of like an item that like got left in storage and kind of left in the sun and got some like sun fading to it. You see that pop up on some vintage items when like they're left in storage where sunlight was hitting them. So I actually really am digging this, dude. I might even grab one. Oh, I'm gonna go broke this week. Sit. Oh, I thought it was 68. I was like, yes, sir. 88. Whoo. All right. I might have to get Dude, these are actually pretty hard. I think you might see me buy one of those. Fuck, man. This is such a fat week. Uh, we got Supreme Lay Bowery. We're gonna do these pretty fast. Are these gonna resell? Who knows, man? Like, probably not. But then again, my bloody Valentine tees, you know, the one that my order got canceled for, is kind of reselling for 180. So stop sleeping on these obscure collabs. Yes, I'm gonna go buy one of these. Yes, I'm hyped about this cat. Are you kidding me? My cat's currently sleeping, and I'm a good person, not gonna wake her up for this video. Otherwise, I would grab her right now and like do this same little pose with her. You will see a fit pick with this t-shirt with my kitty cat. You guys always ask the name of my cat, by the way. Her name is Moby, um, but I, I just call her kitty. Her Majesty. Um, but for the Lay Bowery, I would only go for the T-shirt. I actually don't think this hoodie's too bad. Um, I think it's like interesting. I mean, I, I don't think I'd buy it because it's like, dude, this is like 150. Like, it's definitely a weird item. But I, I kind of dig the weird items. This is one of those things I could see in person and be like, damn, I actually kind of rock with that. I don't know why, but I think it's cool. I don't think it's that bad. I'm sure y'all roasting it. Uh, Reflective, like, bleh, nope, not, it's all right. If they'd put the patch on the black one normally, I would maybe even buy one. Um, what is this? No, such a fat no. Ugh. And then we got the put it put it reverse reverse tear. Tear. top. And uh, not that bad. Honestly, like, I would never fucking rock this. The green, I kind of dig a little bit. I wouldn't wear this, but it's cool. It's whatever. But damn, I got to tell y'all what to go for. And I am kind of struggling because there's just so many good items. And I don't really know how sellouts are going to be. This is definitely the week you got to pay attention to European sellout times. Because um, it will definitely dictate what to go for first. I think, like, there's just so many good items this week, man. It actually blows my mind. Um, I say zip lock keychain crossover beanie flags boonie um the water shorts those are probably the best items to go for i'm gonna get a lay bowery t-shirt um in terms of like what to go for in order i think ziplocs are gonna go first i think the boonie will probably sell out second the crossover beanie and the good colorways will go pretty fast so i think for me I might go single cart. Ah, oh, this is rough, boys. I do think I'm gonna take my time with the keychain. I feel like people are gonna sleep on these. So I think I'm gonna go Ziploc single cart to start off the day. Um, then after we get that little cook session, I think I'm gonna go for the boonie. Dude, I don't know what to do, bro. It really depends on sellout times. I'm honestly struggling because these water shorts are gonna fly too, probably. Shit, man. This is a rough week, boys. This is a very difficult week, but I'm trying to give you the keys to the good items. I just don't know what to go for in order. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, I feel like I've been talking just nonstop the last 20 minutes. So I'm gonna give y'all ears a break. I'll see y'all in the live cop. I think Lauren will be there. I'm not positive yet, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. It's been your boy, Boone. I'm back. I promise, no more breaks. Um, I just had to go live it up a little bit for summer, but we back in the booth, cooking up this booth. Don't play. I'll see y'all on the live cops. Better boy, Boone. I'm out. Peace. Down again. Would you get tired?